We're all authentic, right? Or are we? How does the brand come across from your company? Does it come through as authentic? As the coyote, authenticity is a weird word to use for a mascot. I thought of coyote when Dion was talking about watching Tom Hanks and saying when he could not hear him, he could still tell what the guy was saying. By the way, that was what I did for a career, right? Without talking, I communicated. And that communication is always more authentic than communicating with your mouth, right? It's a more true communication. So I always said authenticity was paramount. For instance, I say there's two ways to mascot. There's one way, which is hold up a noise sign because your boss said, yeah, you know, thank you. Um, hold up a noise sign because your boss said to hold up a noise sign and run out on the court and hold up a noise sign. Yeah, cool. I did my job. Right? I don't know if anybody made noise, nor do I really care. I did my job. Or there's another way to mascot, which is the way I chose to mascot, which is I'm going to hold up a sign. And there's times when maybe they don't make noise, but I don't let them off the hook. Right? I stopped and I would go, come on. Right? Hold it up again to get noise. What is that doing? Let me tell you a great story. We're playing the Lakers when the Lakers are really good. It's towards the end of a game. Somebody makes, one of the Lakers make a shot. They're up by two. 20 seconds left in the game kind of thing. And it looks bad for the Spurs. Looks really bad. And so I go out and I hold up my noise sign to a section of the crowd and nothing. There's just no cheering. And I look at them and you know, a lot of people are just sort of, they're standing and maybe they're clapping, but they really don't care. They know we're about to lose. So I do my usual bit like, well, come on, come on, right? Still nothing. Okay, now I'm frustrated, like, come on, come on. Again, nothing. Just being frustrated, I take the sign and I bust it over my knee, toss it to my assistant, and I'm walking off the court like, okay, they're not going to cheer. What happens? They blow up and start cheering. And I remember specifically walking, stopping and turning around and coming back. And of course I worked them, but I thought, well, that was interesting. Why did they now cheer to that? They saw that we had a relation, right? There was communication going on. I was frustrated. They were not responding. There was communication. They saw it, it was real. That really expected noise. It would be just like if we're having a conversation and I say, how's your day? And you don't answer and I go, cool, and walk off. That's ridiculous for two people talking. Why would it be any different for a mascot? That taught me something that day of how, and that's how I built this relationship with the Spurs fans. That, that connection that I built with Spurs fans was simply because I chose to be real with them. So let's take that to the brand right? You've got a company. You have a brand. It's something. Whether you want it to be or not, your company has a brand. Are you being purposeful with that brand or not? Are you making sure it is what you want it to be? How you want people to perceive, right? Is there a disconnect or are you actually true? One of the greatest things for me as Coyote is when people would say, oh, you're the Coyote. Wow man, that guy's, he's athletic or he's funny. Or they would say one of the specific, like five words that I had said, I wanted the character to be perceived as. And I would think, yes, right? It's working. But what it took was planning ahead of time, purposeful in every bit of communication,